All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Supersonic Legends series. We're on episode number 36, which means we're passing the mark of three dozen videos in this series, which is insane. In the last episode, we ended up at Grand Champion 1, Division 1. We just ranked up in the last episode, and we're currently on the longest win streak I've ever, I've ever seen or heard of in Rocket League, which is insane. I have no idea what the number is. It's probably 120 plus right now. I'll definitely check on the, the tracker for the next episode. But today we are Carrot G. And uh, thank you, Mini Justin, for this suggestion a couple weeks ago. Uh, he said to put his face on a carrot, but I had a little bit of inspiration this time around and uh, decided to go a different direction. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the photo regardless. But if you are enjoying the daily videos and unique content and you haven't subscribed yet, we're currently on the road to 1 million subscribers. So if you want to help out, it'll mean a lot to me and I'll love you forever. Now let's get to the next episode. See how it goes. All right, so on my team, we got Sorex. He's still loading in because he's a, uh, a Sinet player, but that's okay. Um, I think we are the second highest in here. Yeah, we are. So we've got Lazo, who's at 1529. We're just on the cusp of Grand Champion, so we're going to start to move into a lot more consistent players. See if I can beat that guy. I'm not going to get it on target because I'm trying to beat him. He's going to pop it over the goal, so we'll go behind my teammate here. Oh, boy. This could be really bad. Oh, they missed. Okay, we're good. So my teammate tried to get a touch there, and then um, because of the way that he challenged, it kind of pinched out with me. Let's see if they get a clear. Teammate should be able to turn, maybe. Good follow up from Lazo, though. See what they do. He throws it away right here with this next touch. Oh, I missed. <laughs> it happens. That's a good shot. Uh, I was trying to say what I was trying. I was trying to think of what I was going to say. Uh, if he follows up with the next touch and flips it out, um, he relinquishes possession, but he made a good uh, attempt at a flip reset, and because of that, he actually faked me out. But. Make a shot towards target over top. See if my teammate can get in. He's doing a really, really early aerial, but this ball moving middle here could give us an opening. Teammate's almost almost break checking me too. Good. My teammate should be able to clear this down the field. He's going to stay with us. The way he pops it and the way that he's catching it, um, he ends up uh, following it. I can tell that from his body language. This guy's going to go again, which is fine. I just do a little bit of a fake. This guy's all over the ball, so I'm just waiting for him to stop chasing. There we go. So tip it around round one and get a demo as well. And then I'm going to try and pop this down for my teammate. Like this. See if he can follow up for the goal. Good try. Pop up the corner because my teammate's still in the corner. That should be Lazo's clear here. Not the greatest touch. Let's see what happens off this touch. Both players committed in the corner. Good shot there. Nice play. So we made, we made up for the uh, the mistake earlier on. I was trying to uh, talk during that play, and those are really hard to focus on. You have to really make sure you're following with like the uh, the bounce of the ball. And I was also trying to read his flip reset, because at Super Sonic Legends, he would definitely... Uh, wait, what are they saying? What's that guy saying? Um, at Super Sonic Legends, uh, that guy I would would have probably hit a flip reset. And it's always like that weird inconsistency um, at these ranks. Why did that guy hit that one? <laughs> Let's see what he does here. So he's kind of still following. I don't really want to get in the way of my teammate. So he does here. Lazo might clear the ball down. Good good possession. Going for the flick. I can get in the way of this because he popped it super early. If I, he flicked that a little bit earlier, it would have been uh, more dangerous for me and I would have probably overcommitted. So I'm get behind my teammate here. I got to watch out for the demo. It's a good bump. It's a good air dribble play. So in this situation, in that situation, I'm 1v2, 1v2 and honestly I have to watch out for the demos or the bumps. My teammate kind of missed his challenge in the corner. And then Lazo made a good uh, aerial uh, air dribble goal there. So we're obviously we're getting into pretty sweaty games here. It's going to be a little tough. Teammates uh, almost taking the boost there, but it's going to end up passing it to me. And I can go for a double tap here. Should be on target. And there we go. Lazo almost got the clear there. Um, I'll say thank you. He kind of passed his headshot right there. He passed it up to me um, for the follow up. And he needs to keep that off the wall while I'm on the wall looming there. He needs to make sure he keeps that uh, close. Now, obviously, I did use a little more mechanics than I have been in this series so far, just to do that double tap. But that's just an easy follow-up. It's going to be a good shot. Teammate went for the back corner, and they end up getting another goal. So once again, I'm trying to get these cheats. I thought he was cheating, and then he kind of just, like, zoomed away. And we're, we're giving it a perfect uh, feed-in for my uh, my teammate. But I don't know why. People go, go for those corners all the time. It's not really the play. Teammate's on the backboard. It's a little bit of an awkward play, but he could try to go for the shot. Lazo will probably clear it here. See if he gets another follow up. He's going to mess up his teammate if he does. And there we go. So I can just catch this and then drag it in. Um, because Lazo tried to make a follow up and then headshot uh, Madman. He's upset, even though he sh really shouldn't have double committed uh, with his teammate. 
Like he's 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 probably mad at uh, Lazo, but honestly, I think Headshot should be a little more patient. I like I said, he's in the wrong here. So <laughs> Headshot, you should not go as last. Sorix uh wants to party out, but I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go solo, obviously. Um, <laughs> that Lazo guy was actually pretty good. I don't know why this headshot guy is complaining. I thought Lazo was pretty good. You probably could tell from the game. No, he was good. Anyway, uh, I could definitely tell that Lazo was uh, above and beyond the rank here. Yes, he was good. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with a, with a champ three. But anyway, um, yeah, so that Lazo guy was actually pretty solid. He's making really good plays, really good possession. It. Um, really good possession. And headshot's basically just saying he made a mistake. Um, but... Yet again, Headshot actually played into the mistake as well and double committed, which is the worst part. Because if he doesn't go there, then it's hard for me to make a possession without getting a challenge on me. Um, so, I don't know. He's in the wrong, for sure. But yeah, Lazo was causing a lot, a lot of issues in the last game for me, so I was just trying to make sure I watched him. The other guy wasn't really too troublesome, so <laughs> whatever that guy's on about, man, I don't know. This guy's going to probably tip it off the wall. Right here, since he's close, I want to get in the way. I'll try to keep uh, Maple in the back corner here so I can catch the ball. I see that uh, he's right behind me trying to demo, so that's why I get the flick out immediately. Now if I sit left, hopefully my teammate can pass it to me. It's a decent try. It's a little bit too high and off the corner. Eno doesn't really need to be going for that another touch, but it ends up kind of working. I don't really want to get committed. Like, I don't want to commit in with my teammate here. So hopefully I can pop this across and then wait for the, the ball here. He's probably going to go because he's thinking that he can beat me, so instead I just pop it off the wall or the ceiling. Right here I can just catch it off the corner. Stay with it, wait for a touch. Just doing these little fakes, little postures. Try to hit the mid boost as well so the opponent has no boost on his way back. It's a good try for my teammate. Could be an awkward ball. My teammate gets the, the middle boost, and I'll stay with this. Do a little bit of a fake and then move away. I don't want to overcommit. I'm not doing too too much craziness. I'm just like trying to flip in uh, a light touch here. I see I have space, so then instead I back off, and now I'm going to force someone to come in and you know waste his possession like that. And now I can try to pass this out to my teammate. Good try. Could have caught that. He definitely could have caught that brought it right side. But he decided to bring it, uh, you know, back to the opponents. Which, <laughs> I mean, he probably didn't decide that. That's just a, a result of what happened. My teammate totally cut off what I was doing. It's a bit awkward of a play now. I'm going to get my boost stolen too. So now I'm just going to get a few pads. So right here, I'm going to loop out wide. Get like 24 boost. That ball rolling off the corner is going to give it back to... Oh. going to give it back to the opponents once again. Right here, I see that the opponent is trying to barrel in to the challenge. i am got to wait for the demos behind me, and my teammate doesn't know if he wants to follow up or not. He's kind of like behind the play a little bit, so now they're going to have a shot. So it's clear to the corner. That boost should spawn in time for me. He's going to probably try and steal it. He ends up missing it, though. Could be a clear cross. So far, I can tell at this rank, like, everyone's just trying to play fast. Not really doing anything useful with the ball. Like, right here, he's just trying to play quickly. Just getting everybody's way. But it's not, like, super dangerous. Like, this isn't on target. You can just take a possession instead and get a flick. But so far, we've been under pressure for quite a bit of this game. And that should be an, a good shot opportunity for Nino here. Should be almost in. I should be able to finish this. And there we go. It's a good pass. I think it should have definitely been on target, obviously. But he made a good uh, good decision to go for that. Because Robbie's on the back wall. Still waiting for it. Um, but also, I would like to mention that I'm actually playing this at a different time than I usually do. And it, I can definitely tell the games are more sweaty. Because everyone's, like, super up late. <laughs> it's 12.30 a.m. Uh, I haven't really played at all today. So... I can definitely tell people are a little sweaty. You know, this is the late night grind. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to wait for the, the ball to come back to the corner. I want to make sure I touch this so it doesn't just back out. Um, I probably could have not fed this middle just in case my teammate wasn't ready. But um, it's a good try. He's going to go. I could have went earlier and definitely just beat him. But I don't want to play too fast. My boost is going to be stolen here. So I'm going to save the boost. It's a good touch, on, good touch off the backboard. You can see how I can just grab these few mid pads. Um, and stay pretty consistent. Stay with my boost here. And now my teammate should be able to clear this out. I'm going to fake this off the wall. That way I can stay with it. Let's get Maple out of the play. And Robbie missed the boost. And it should be open. Um, he really shouldn't have backed off for the boost. you got to continue your momentum. Especially when you're last man like that. you got to understand that Maple's trying to make a challenge to get the ball popped off. And it, he would have been in perfect position to make a clear over to the right side. But instead he decides to go back for the boost. And he's punished for it. So definitely don't do that. Just keep momentum. you got to you got to cut your losses. Obviously, if there's no pressure, if the ball's not coming towards your side, yeah, maybe you can go back towards the boost. But in that situation where the, where the pressure's coming towards you, you can't just like abandon the play. You're gonna get you're gonna get scored on most more times than not for sure. He's gonna go across, and right here I can feed this in. He might try to go early for the ball. 
He ended up bumping me to the ball here, and I'll just try and make a touch. It's a great follow-up for my teammate, though. So instead, I just back off. I could tell that it, he was like near me because I could hear him. I right hear pop it over one. Gets a pretty decent touch. I see Maple's backwards, so I'm just going to try and get a challenge in. It's a decent touch, but he might leave the goal open here. So I'm going to try and go for the backward read. Ended up missing. Should be a shot near target. It's not going to be on target, but let's see if Maple tries to go for a play. He, he ends up panicking, even though he should know that I shot that, and then my teammate shot the ball afterwards. So there's no one really near the ball after that backboard. Okay, good try for my teammate. So i got to wait for a long time here. I'd be careful of the stall um, because my teammate barreled into the challenge and didn't just like posture the challenge. It's different than... Okay, he didn't need to touch that either, but I'll follow it. Um, when someone barrels into a challenge, um, it's different than someone just, you know, trying to put themselves near the ball. It's a good demo. I'll be behind and see if I can get behind my teammate who should t touch this ball, but he ends up leaving it. Once again, he decided to go for... <laughs> decided to go for the boost over... Uh, ball possession. He could have done both too if he was a little bit faster. It's a good demo from behind. It could be a good shot opportunity. Ended up spawning in the right spot, so I just turn immediately and get that touch. Right here, my teammate should be able to move up and get a shot on target. I'm going to steal it. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I don't even get the chance. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. I mean, I know I've been trying to play at the rank. I think Grand Champion is probably the most confusing rank because you're like at the cusp of SSL, but like not quite. And so I really want to make sure I'm giving the right tips for how to get to SSL. Like right now, I'm quite a ways away. I'm not even close to SSL still. Uh, this is fi the final gap here. Um, but so far, what I've noticed is people are trying to play faster than they need to. And I'm just taking advantage of certain little situations. Obviously, I missed that first uh, save in the first game. But, you know, first first few seconds of the game online, you never know what's going to happen. Let's get into the next game. All right, we got Higgin Recliner versus me and Nairs. See how this game goes. This is the uh, Forbidden Temple Night, and I like the the day version actually. It's really nice. But um, I haven't seen this map in competitive for a while. Give me a free ball here, so I'm just gonna clear down the field back towards the backboard. Recliner's gonna grab the ball at the back corner here, kind of give away the ball a little bit, and I see him coming creeping up. It's a good bump off of Hig here. Should be a good try. Let's see if Hig can go. Go off the corner a little bit and then pop it up. Actually, I missed it again. Let's go behind here. Nice. Look at the mid boost as well. I can keep pace here and just wait for Recliner to make the pass out to me. There it is. So pop it up once. Should be able to make a shot here. Should make at least a little bit of pressure. Should pop out to my teammate if he goes on the wall. He should beat everybody else since the ball's feeding out to him. It's a good try from Recliner. Bit of a miss. So I'm going to shoot it a little bit higher this time. See if they do. Nair with a bit of a panic and it should be open for them. And I think the guy might have missed. No, he's got it. So definitely Nair's ball there. He just kind of like fake don't for some reason yeah i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure uh i'm not sure what happened i'm not gonna be honest i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i don't know what happened when there's there but we're gonna we're gonna play it play it cool we're just gonna see what my teammate does all right so this should be a good chance here they're leaving me an open shot so this time i'm gonna make it a little bit harder for them to save and <laughs> pop it top left corner so I've been just kind of positioning like little shots here and there towards goal to see that how their defense is and where they're clearing it. I'm trying to see if my teammate Nairs is going to like go to a place where he can collect it. Um, but obviously he uh, he's like panicking a little bit when he's on the last man position. There's a lot more time right here. I know I beat that guy if I just go and I can go to the wall. Um, you know, if I'm going to go for a crazy shot, <laughs> there it is. You know, do a few, do a few rare crazy shots. I could tell that I could get it off the ceiling catch right here. And uh, just follow it. And there we go. Just a soft little touch. It wasn't like anything too crazy. Just enough to get in the bottom right corner. It wasn't really super fast the way I flipped. Should be a catch here. I'll go behind my teammate. We can probably follow up the, the bounce in mid. Decent try. He didn't get the perfect uh, half volley. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little cheeky for me. It might be a goal for them too. Yeah. So I was trying to just do a fake there. I didn't want to just score the open goal. It was like super, super open. I've already score, scored two of them. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? If you saw my profile as left, I, I will take... What is... I will take a video of me drinking my pee and send it. What? Those are those <laughs> those are fighting words. I don't know if he should have. 
What is going on? <laughs> what? I swear, it's probably just apple juice. <laughs> Will you slow down? Oh my god, there's no way. I, I, I feel like for his... You know, for him, his own <laughs> reputation, I don't want to. I don't want to sign his profile just because of that. I don't really sign profiles anyway. But let's see what recliner does here. What a strange man. Great shot. Nice one. That was a great play by Nairs there. It seems like from for him, he's more confident being that first man. So I'm just gonna stay, start like start chilling behind him, and uh, see how he plays ahead of the, ahead of it. All right, <laughs> it's, it's out there for the world. <laughs> Do I sign him though? That's the question. He's kind of panicking. I can see he's trying to make touches, but he's just kind of like rushing to the ball. That should be all for my teammate. There we go. Nice finish. Um, <laughs> I expect. I expect a sign. <laughs> oh God. I guess I'm signing this guy's profile. This game's like kind of. I'm gonna be honest. This game's a little sus. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pretend that I didn't, you know, see or hear or, or read any of this. Should have followed this touch. Wait for this catch here. Wait for Hig to make a challenge too. My teammate should be able to push up a little bit. If I go up the wall and then make a pop here, I should be able to be beat the opponent. I'm gonna go for the right mid here. <laughs> I just can't believe what I just read. <laughs> oh. It, Gameplay at night is uh, wild in Rocket League. Here I'm going to go off the wall and try to pass it across. Nair should be able to turn. Kind of made an awkward play, but the backflip should work out. Good. Good catch. See if Hig makes a touch here. So right here I know that Hig still has it. The second he's jumping down, I know I can go for it because I'm going to beat him once he's trying to get re recover to the floor. There's a bit of a, a small period of time between a player landing and the player being able to properly jump. If you jump immediately when you land, your suspension goes out, out of whack. So I'm not too worried about him challenging earlier. Let's see if Recliner makes a touch. He does, but Nairs is going to be getting a backflip, and now I, it's my ball. So I see the guy right next to me trying to make a challenge, so instead I'll go for the high backboard touch, and I'll loop out for my te teammate to have a better position. All right, so there we go. Recliner might touch this again. Good of him to wait, but once again, I'm just going to wait here instead. A good try. Could have been a little more dangerous, but I could have went for the touch off the backboard a little earlier, for sure. I'll just talk to my teammate, see if he can follow it. Good demo, though. It's a good try. I saw that the uh, the uh, the whiff came through. I can go for the boost here and try to grab this early. Make it clear, and then that way I can boost towards it with the way I touched it softly. Alright. Big shot. Ooh. Ooh! He missed again! That might actually work out for them. <laughs> I thought he was going to shoot it on target, so I was, I was starting to backflip off of the board, and then he uh, ended up missing. I could definitely could have reacted to that faster, though. Discuss rules. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, do whatever you want, man. It's not going to be on the video, obviously, because my editor has to edit this like like right right after this. But I definitely will laugh at the video for sure. I I cannot believe this. So that's gonna close off this uh, this episode. I don't even know how to explain this episode really. It's a been a, it's been a wild ride for sure. Hopefully my teammate can get the finish here. Let's see if he gets the final shot. Oh, oh! Keep it up. There we go. Oh, finish it, Nairs. Hey, let's go. See, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely a weird one. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever record it this time of night again, but uh, it's been it's been an interesting experience to say the least. Hope you guys enjoyed the episodes. Regardless, this is episode number 36. Like I said, it's been a it's been a great ride so far. We're still undefeated, and uh, you know, if you're enjoying the episodes, like I said, subscribe. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, to everyone who knows me in real life, you know, this is the story. Is I got cued with a professional Rocket League player, and I said if it was actually him, I would <laughs> drink my own piss. So here's the cup of the piss. I made sure to uh, do it as soon as possible so you could see the bubbles. And here we go.